What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here and today we're going to be looking at an alternative to the App Store and the City on Jailbreak which gives you an option really to install third party apps. Now we've seen several of these come and go and they've all relied on uh, developer certificates which Apple actually revokes and they crack down quite a lot so it means you have to delete and reinstall your apps all the time, it's a bit of a pain. So this method is used for developers to install their own applications on their phone before they actually shell out on a $99 uh, developer certificate to then put it into the App Store. So this is called Altstorm and you're going to need to go to their website. I will have the links in the description below and a step-by-step -step written guide as well for you guys. You will need a Mac or a Windows computer for this. So that's something you need to be aware of as well. So once you go to this website, we're going to install it first of all. So it's on Mac OS. I don't have a Windows machine that I can test this on, unfortunately. And it's going to ask if you want to allow this. So we're going to click Allow. And we're just going to wait for it to install for just a moment. Obviously, depending on your connection is how long this will actually take. But once this is installed, you're going to then be able to connect your phone to your computer, which I've already done, and obviously you need to trust your computer, so you may need to put in your code there. And then once it's all installed, it's going to be onto your device, so you can use it freely. So we're going to go ahead here, and we're going to now open this up. And as you can see, it's opening ready to install there. Okay, and as you can see, we're going to open it there, and it's now running in the background as a menu bar app listening for alt store. So, on the top right here, you go to install alt store, and it's got my iPhone already there, which is already plugged in and I've already trusted it, so we're going to go ahead and click on them. Now this is where you're going to need to put in your Apple ID and passcode. Now if you are concerned about security, you can create uh, an additional one, and that can take just a couple of seconds. Again, we'll put a link in the description below on how you can do that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use one of our Apple IDs that we use for other things. Uh, we're going to install that because, again, I don't really know much about this developer and I don't want to put my personal one in there. So we're just going to go ahead and use one of ours and we'll see what happens from this point onwards. Okay, so it says installing all store to Geeks Corner UK. This may take a few seconds. So we're just going to pop the device there so we can see. Okay, so it's just literally popped up on here. And then you're going to have to, as you can see, trust it through the settings. So we're going to go ahead. And that's settings, general profile and device management. And then it's going to be the developer app. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to trust it. So it's asking if you want to go ahead, yes. And there you go. Now also would like to send you notifications, so you can allow that one. And there you can see now we've got Delta Light now available. Introducing Clip. And then you, you browse option, so you can see what's there. And it expires in seven days your settings, so you can go ahead and sign in your Apple ID to download apps from Altstore. And then it's got the how it works. So you launch the Alt server, you connect to the Wi-Fi, you download the apps, and then apps refresh automatically in the background when you connect it to the same Wi-Fi. It's got obviously about the designer and it's got its licenses as well. You can then choose to disable the background refresh and you can receive access to the beta when you become a Patreon member if you want to support it as well. But like I say, you can go ahead and sign in on here. 
So I switched over now to my iPhone switch screen recording here. And as you can see, you got your Delta with two days to go. You got Delta Lite with a free option, so you're gonna click on them. And it's basically an emulator for your phones. You can play like the 80s style uh, games on your device without, like I say, the need of jailbreaking or installing another store to use as well and getting those certificates revoked, which happens quite a lot. And just quickly looking down here, you've got the clip option as well, which manages your clipboard history with ease. And that says it's going to be available in two days. You click on there and you can just see a little bit about what's new. And as you can see again, it says the 28th of September, which isn't just yet. So we're going to go back and just wait for that just to finish installing. And whilst we are waiting, just to let you guys know that if you leave a thumbs up on this video, it really helps us out. And don't forget to click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll always be notified first of when we got a new video out. But as you can see now, it's in stores. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. And if anybody's played Delta before and used this emulation, you can see that you can add it in from your files or your iTunes, depending on where you've got the ROMs. And again, they're quite easy to find with a quick Google search. You got your settings, you got your Nintendo console layout there. So it's all the Delta there. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.